Ryan, 34 shots on goal. Did you guys feel like you generated enough for a better result? Yeah, I thought we, you know, I thought we had our chances. Um, you know, I thought, uh, you know, at times during that game we controlled them the way we wanted to down low. Um, obviously, there were some lapses there, you know, in the second that, you know, we kind of let up a bit, but um, we had the shots on that. We, we had our chances. Just a matter of, uh, of putting that, putting those in. You know, we gotta, we gotta score some goals there. Even the most optimistic person would probably say at some point this game was coming. Does it surprise you that it came? Yeah, I mean, obviously we don't want to. We don't want it to come. You're going to have games during the year. I mean, we, you know, we weren't. We knew we weren't going to win out, but uh, you know, obviously it, it, it frustrates you, and, and you want to win every game. So I mean, it's not something that we accept and we're, and we're happy with. It's it's a matter of we have to learn from you know the mistakes we made, and now we have to get back on the horse and, and keep going here. Three for the last 33 on the power play. What has been the issue with generating anything? Yeah, I mean, I think it starts with with getting it in the zone first. Uh, you know, we're not uh, we're not getting too much time in zone and setting it up the way we want to. Uh, and then after that, it's a matter of getting pucks to the net and, and getting some chances that way. But you know, yeah, first of all, we got to get the puck in and and get our get our system set up. No, we didn't score any goals. You know, we got to score goals. <laughs> you know, it's uh, their guy played pretty well, but uh, we had some chances for some rebounds and didn't convert. Obviously, uh, they did, and that's. At the end of the day, you want to get get the job done by converting and putting the puck in the net. When you look at the last couple of games, one goal in two plus games, Ryan was saying that it might be that dirty areas uh, focus. Is that what you guys, as a team, feel that you need to work on? Um, maybe I thought we were kind of getting in there. Uh, we had some chances like, again on their second their second goal. I thought you know we were right in there, and I took that shot and I hit. I don't know if it hit their shaft. Or, you know they didn't break it up on purpose and when they went down the other end so it was just trying to stay positive and say you get that bounce and keep grinding them but you know you got to get it done we got to get it done and get in there and take a beating and maybe it is getting in those dirty areas and scoring we want to win it doesn't matter what we've done in the past or the last couple games Uh, every night you want to win and i felt like we uh did a lot of good things created a lot of chances but uh he played well and uh they're a smart team no question they're a skilled team so, uh, you know, especially when they're uh, on their odd man rushes, they're, uh, they're really skilled to make some good plays. I guess Spezza would be an example of that. Take us through the first goal that he scored. Did you not see it very much? No, he, he froze me with her. Uh, he kind of faked the pass, and after that, I think I had three guys in, in the puck lane there, so I could just feel the puck touch my arm. Um, you know, he, he's a good player. He makes some good plays, and... Uh, you know, for a goalie, you, you need to be on your toes there. And, and maybe when he froze me a little bit there, I, I kind of um, played on my heels a little bit.